بال من حفظ الكتاب بصدره فبدا وضيئا كالنجوم تالقا وتمثل القران في اخلاقه وفعاله فيه الفؤاد تعلق نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله تعالى وبركاته the Quran is a book of complete guidance and aside from the information contained in the Quran it also conveys a very powerful message by using various styles various methods of conveying that information one of the very important features of the Quranic explanation the bayan of the Quran as we would say is the use of examples, parables, similes, metaphors. These truly bring out the, not just the information, but the tone, the context, um, and give it a sense of coming to life. It makes the picture very vivid and clear in the mind of anyone who hears it or reads it. And the Qur'an uses a vast array of, of examples. It's not just a few. In fact, the Qur'an says that we have given every type of example. We've used all types of examples. وَلَقَدْ ضَرَبْنَا فِي هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ لِلنَّاسِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَثَلِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَثَلِ means all types of examples which would be needed for the guidance of mankind. Of course, it would not use more examples than necessary but it would also not use less examples than required. وَتِلْكَ الْأَمْثَالُ نَضْرِبُهَا لِلنَّاسِ These are examples, Allah says, that I, I lay out, I explain for people. And the purpose is لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ In one place, the purpose of these examples is to get people thinking, for people to start using their intellectual abilities, their abilities of, of reflection and contemplation. So the mechanism of tadabbur, tafakkur, tadakkur, it starts coming into play, coming into movement through these examples. One of the things that an example does is it takes a, an abstract concept and brings it to life by comparing it to a tangible and concrete event, person, circumstance, place, image, picture. So the imagination of the person kicks in and you, you can actually picture it happening with your own eyes, that I see this happening. The purpose of this series is to draw out the meanings of the examples held in the Quran and especially those examples that are speaking to us today, to our lives, to our realities. And because all of it is a part of the Quranic guidance, and this aspect of the Quran has been given great importance in the Quran. The Quran talks about not just the examples, but it explains the importance of these examples. We feel it's necessary to bring this message to the masses. So what we can do is a, understand the examples. B, reflect on the lessons that are derived from the examples. And C, we can see how this fits into my life and how this can change my life for the better. So we will proceed with this. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this a source of guidance for ourselves and all our listeners and viewers. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. وفعاله فيه الفؤاد تعلق وتلاه في جو